Hi everyone, alongside Mike Trosel, I'm Dave Giancola, and thanks for coming along as we revisit an incredible decade of U.S. Opens. It's the Women's Opens of the 2010s, and it started at Oakmont, where Paula Creamer earned her much-anticipated first major title with a hard-fought victory. And Dave, then in 2014, the U.S. Open and U.S. Women's Open were played back-to-back -back on the same golf course for the very first time. It was Pinehurst number 2, where Michelle Wee emerged victorious earning her major breakthrough on the biggest stage. Finally, a fulfillment of her seemingly unlimited potential. And how about Aria Jutanagarn building a seven stroke lead in the final round in 2018, only to see it all disappear, but she showed her medal prevailing in a playoff to become the first tie winner in the championship's history. Here are the U.S. Women's Opens of the 2010s, starting with Paula Creamer at Oakmont. That is a great shot lead for Kramer. That was good for out of the rough. Four holes left. Somewhere out here with that signpost for the 16th tee would be just beautiful. Come on. It's just left to the hole. Nice shot. How about this? Okay, that's nice. I know who? Yeah, Cabrera's spot. Gia Shin for Birdie. At 18, a moment ago. Oh man, are you kidding me? That is fantastic. Second shot from 174. Well, you can see that Stay ball back. trying to cut toward the flag stick. The shot hits that bank and pops up. Just where you want it, straight in putt. Pedersen has this putt for birdie at 18 to get into a tie with now you and Choi. Yeah. Yes. Tied for second now. Patterson finally gets a putt to drop. A little late, but nonetheless, a 69 for Patterson. Kept it left. She likes it, I think. Dottie, watch out. This has happened before. The U.S. Senior Open a few years ago. There is a bear on the golf course right now up in a tree. <coughs> Wrong color. <laughs> you're, you're the guy who a... chased me was Black Bear. That is you a... think he's going to snooze, Terry? So, with a long birdie look. This is the round of the day being shot. Three under for the day. Maybe going for it. She's in red figures. You playing her bunker shot. Very straightforward here. Just lob it out of the bunker onto the green. Carried it maybe a little farther than she wanted, but that was just a moment ago. And now live for her birdie attempt. Not get too much outside. Quick putt here. Not much break. Nice. So so new you finds herself atop the leaderboard. This is enormously quick. Yes. GQ so. She's part of the best. There's no doubt uh, that all day today. And red the green's the best. And that might be the difference if she were to win. Over at the fifth for Angela Stanford looking at a birdie. Angela runs a let your light shine charity golf tournament each year at home and over the last five years has reached 328. Oh, Angela Stanford to three under with it one over at the ninth. So you, you with her third shot here at the par five. Oh, and she's going to use the backstop as well. This should come right back to the hole, just like we saw with Christy Kerr. <laughs> Looking pretty darn good. Tell you. Yes. And it is all coming together in a magical way so far for Sarah. 
The third by Stanford from 106. Go. Set. 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 Brilliant. So all of a sudden, it is tightened up. What a Sunday for Hugh Cuso. Leading the clubhouse at three under. And it might be good enough to put away the U.S. Women's Open title. This pulled a little left of the hole. Well, the catch the catches the ball. Here it comes. Moving closer, and you is that close to tying it up. Wow, two great shots. Yeah. We've got a playoff. You runs it in. Pressure pack birdie three at the 18th hole, the 72nd hole. One of the pressure. longest women's open weeks in history has gotten just a little longer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the playoff for the 66th United States Women's Open Championship. Last little bit into the green is downhill. And a white oh, ball is leaking a little bit to the right. Not a well played hole thus far, but her short game could save her. Full pitching wedge. This looks like it might need to get up just a shade. This is a good shot. Wonderful shot. Good look at birdie for you. Fade. This is a little left of the hole. I don't think it'll catch the ball. It's going to go to the back. Runs too hot all the way to the back. That is a quick, tough putt there. Good contact. This is just left of the hole. Wow. Beauty. This is a player right here. This is a first class, real class player. And that has just about wrapped it up for 21 year old Su Yin Yu. Let's see how straight this putt is. Wiggle right and straighten out. This might go in. That is beautiful pace. Beautiful pace. Fabulous effort. Two birdies in a row for you at the 18th. And now. She's a women's open champion. And at the par three eighth, now you enjoy part of the three way tie for the lead with an eight iron. Second straight day, this hole is played under 150 yards, but really not that much easier. That's a good-looking putt. Four under three. Up at the 13th, par three, 166 yards today is Amy Yang, who's working on a two-under round today. She's at one under, three back. So the 13th really messed with the players for the first two days, nearly an ace there. Great opportunity to pick up yet another shot on the field. While we were away, second shot for Lexi Thompson at 13. Yeah, and just in the hole. So the adventure continues at Black Wolf Run for the 17-year-old phenom Lexi Thompson. 14th birdie of the championship, and we're not even through the middle of the back nine on Saturday. of the day at six. This 
a pretty good looking shot if it gets up. It is a great looking shot, especially what has just happened. Tough she is after that triple. Comes back with a 30 at 11 to up the lead again to three. Out to 12. And the second shot for the leader. Can't chase the ball in here. Damn. Uh oh, this is left. This is not a good miss. Oh, there's some deep stuff over there. Remember, Johnny uh, Sen making a big number over there early in the week on Thursday. Well done. Okay. Six over. And 12, 13, and 14. Yes. That's a way to finish for a 17 year old in his sixth women's open. Hard to believe. Well, it's not How a good one. Line. Wow. How about a one putt? This oh, will be a little more comfortable. I guess. Starting to look like destiny a little bit with everything yeah, we have seen. This championship has gone a full circle here at Black Wolf Run. From Sarah Park in 98 to Nyon Choi in 2012. And show you how NB Park got it done. And we take you back to the very first round. She started at the 10th hole. This was her second shot at the par four. This was a sign of things to come. Uh, she utilizes the slope in the green to near perfection and makes a very easy birdie to get started. And on the second hole, this was just a little harbinger of things to come. Par putt at 11, just her second hole of the day. Rolls that in, part of a first round 67. She was one off the lead. And then going into the second round, putting from just off the green for birdie at the sixth. And this is something we saw all week. Long pots, good tempo. Oh. And another example of MB Park on the greens, just off of it on the collar at 13. And this is the exact opposite putt of the one she made there at six. This one's straight downhill, very quick. Yeah. And her speed is perfect there as well. And at the time of the championship, where MB Park sees control, two shot lead heading into the weekend, and yesterday in round three. This was the birdie putt at 14, which was unlikely, tracking and had some speed. Again, coming at a great time after three consecutive bogeys for MB, which got her back on track. And at the very next hole at 15. This was when both her uh, playing competitors were closer to the hole than she was. She would make the putt for birdie, and both the playing competitors would miss. She had the only round under par yesterday, one under round of 71, had a four-shot lead, and then coming into today, her second at the ninth. Here she's got a short iron in. Uh, the pin is up on her ridge, and she judged that beautifully and has a short one for birdie. And again, that was the point of the championship where she was playing plus two golf. Made the birdie there, had another chance for birdie at the 10th. So again, she bounces back from some bogeys, gets it back to 10 under. Mom and dad were there to watch that one. And then the third at 11. A pretty good second shot that went through the green into a very awkward lie described by Roger Malfi as a uh, very gnarly grass. Plays a pretty good shot to this point, but this is what we saw all week long on it. When she needed to make one to kind of keep the momentum going, she was able to do it. So the par saver there, the difficult par four, and then coming home at 18 with a championship right in her grasp, makes it official. And with a final round, 
174, eight under, four clear. I K Kim. It was a magical two week stretch this past June for one of the most revered courses in all the country. After hosting the U.S. Open Championship, the women followed suit playing a national championship for the very first time on the same course as the men. How would it all play out at Pinehurst number two? Well, we will take an eye on Michelle We Stood in the fairway at the par 5 10th after a monster drive, a two shot lead, and tripped this just from 170. Yeah, and that's just an eight iron. Landed it exactly where she had to. And that's going to set up an eagle putt. And the tabletop putting style, much talked about, was working in spades in Pinehurst. Three under, up by four. Not a fair fight when you're hitting eight iron into a par five. Up ahead, though, Stacy Lewis had been charging all day. Now at two over after bogey at 16. This at 17 for mm. birdie. Gets interesting. She's one over par. She's trying to put the pressure on. We go ahead to 18, and Stacy Lewis closes the way you expect. A great champion to close with another birdie. Eight birdies. And a final round, 66, even par for Stacey Lewis. Would it hold up? We go back to Michelle Wee at 16, still leading by three in the bunker off the tee, pulling a hybrid out of the bag from over 200 yards. All right, now there's a lot of bad stuff over there, and it's going to take a while. And there they all the, they find it just under the five minutes. So we're fine, but now she's going to keep that line in, in, with, in line with the pin and go back as far as she wants. And a nice little shot, little cutoff shot with the wedge. Played it safe, did not go after that hole location. Going to leave it up to the putter. So that was her fourth. This now for bogey. Sort of similar to what Keimer dealt with uh, with the men. You know, uh, some issues mm -hmm. at some point of this championship. And, you know, she runs that one five feet by, getting very interesting. So this is for double bogey. She's up by three right now. She misses this. It's all tied. She makes it. She's up by one going to the par 317. So Stacey Lewis now with something to think about, mm -hmm. warming up on the range. Oh, Michelle Wee heads to 17, the par three, 25 footer for birdie. Again, leading by one. Huge right here because the difference playing the difficult 18 with one shot in the bag versus two. Huge for Michelle Wee, and she knows it. How about that putt by Michelle Wee? Now at 18, par putt. Yeah. Well, what a breakthrough for Michelle Wee. Pinehurst, her first major championship is the U.S. Women's Open. Now at 16. Drive over par four this a moment ago. <laughs> Here at Lancaster Coach Club, this is why. Yes. That is the stick. That's why she has the it factor. You just never know. That's a beautiful shot. And now NG Chun. This to get within one of the lead. Did she? She did. Boy, you gotta love this game. <laughs> That's just incredible. Exciting stuff. here at 17 this birdie putt Brad huge huge after Eagle on 16 to get within one not much break there yeah. unbelievable boy she got some hot Brad <laughs> oh, great putt to be able to do that back to back and now it's in trouble on 18 Thanks for sure. Amy Yang saw all of that, Julie. Oh, yes. That's when it's nice to keep up with the group in front of you. 
What a day, though, for the 20-year-old in Chun, who is now tied at eight under par. is the U.S. Women's Open champion. The U.S. Women's Open is the oldest, most prestigious championship in the women's game. And we're at Cordoval, San Martin, California. It's a beautiful day. These players dreaming of being a major champion here this week at Cordoval. It's really been a strong year for the international players. This is the week the American drought ends. And the defending champion here. Anna, a major champion. The Canadian, 18-year-old, now world number two. Alexi Thompson, only top-ranked American. But everybody looking up at the world's number one. Scoring will be low, so maybe prepare for a lot of birdies out there. She is bringing something special here. Ties the lowest score to par in a single round in the U.S. Women's Open history. All the talk was about Miriam Lee with that round of 64. Absolutely brilliant golf by Lydia Ko. What a round of 66 from Ko. She's the world number one, but she showed her class this afternoon. We've reached the weekend of this dramatic test in sunny California. Lang for birdie. And able to rattle it in. Maybe she's the one who comes from off the pace to win. Look at Lydia Ko, and she is done it. Trying to become the youngest ever to win the U.S. Women's Open Championship at the age of 19. We are headed right for a thrilling finale tomorrow here at Court of Ball. It's Sunday afternoon at a major championship, and sports doesn't get any better. This is certainly not the way she wanted to start. And right there with the trouble for Lydia Ko. All of a sudden, Lydia Ko has come a little bit unglued. Things just got worse. Maybe it will be a name other than Lydia Ko. Very impressive from the Swede who's been in nice form of late. She started her final round six back. It would be the largest comeback in U.S. Women's Open history. Anna Nordquist, co-leader. Brittany Lang, birdie, and tied for the lead. A look at the leaderboard has a very different look than the last time we put it up. It'll be Nordquist or Lang to a playoff we go. Extra golf here in San Martin. Well, this would be the toughest of the three holes. Oh, and a great putt for Lang. Here's the second shot on Nordquist. Did her club had touched the sand here? Oh. That is crushing. That's a two-stroke penalty. The two-stroke penalty will cost her any hope of winning here at Court of All. The stage is now set for Brittany Lang. This will change her life. And Brittany Lang is the U.S. Women's Open champion. We welcome you to the 72nd U.S. Women's Open Championship. Trump National, Bedminster, the old course. A major championship is on the line. So yeah, news number one in the world. Beautiful stroke there by Lydia Ko. She's one I expect to see in contention on Sunday. Michelle Wee walking with the ice bag. She's having neck problems. She looks like she can't even move. Wee has withdrawn. That's an awesome shot there. She knows how to win. These players are good. And they're all chasing Fung at six under. Another great shot there from Fung. Great opening round. The second round of the championship is cut day. This is a real gut check. Clouds are moving in. They're bigger and meaner looking. You can hear the rain pouring down. Very unpleasant out here at the moment. It's nasty out here. But our leaderboard is really, really good. Fung is a player to beat this week. The way she's playing stress-free golf right now. It's a Shin Shin show. Shin Shin Fung is our leader at eight under. Now it's Saturday, and it's when that pressure really starts to amp up. I always thought Saturday was the toughest round. It's still a marathon. 36 holes is a lot of golf. She's just getting a real taste of some weekend pressure. And here comes Stacy Lewis right up the leaderboard. That's four in a row now for Stacy Lewis, who's just one shot back. And now she's just in deep, deep trouble. Everything she just worked for in the last four holes gone in a second. 
Don't forget about the world number one. The field's slowly but surely catching up. Amy Yang jumps into a three-way tie at eight under par. Choi, the amateur really hanging in there. And at the end of 54 holes, Shen Shen Feng is our leader, but there are quite a few trying to come get her. It's a gorgeous Sunday at a U.S. Women's Open. Is an amateur going to be able to pull off this championship? Sung Hyun Park could be the best player on the grounds today. She can absolutely bomb it. That is a rare error from Shen Shen Fong. She slips out of the lead. You don't see any fear in the eyes of Hedge and Choi. She hardly plays like an amateur. This has to be the most nerve-wracking shot she's ever hit in her life. Oh, goodness. What a disaster. It's slipped between her fingers here at 16. And Park with birdie on the most difficult hole on the golf course today. Now Fung, one last chance. She's got to hold this. And with that, Sung Hyun Park has won the U.S. Women's Open. Welcome everyone to Shoal Creek. It's the championship with the biggest purse, the largest reputation, the most on the line. It is the one and only United States Women's Open. As we make the turn on the first round, the leaderboard is crowded with favorites, sprinkled with underdogs, and filled with compelling stories. They are all chasing Aria Chutanyugarn, and she's playing some great golf today. Sarah Jane Smith at 11. Oh, and you're feeling it, you're feeling it. Smith now tied for the lead. We got great weather and we saw some great scores. Harriet Chitanyagarn joined by two others. The second round of this national championship is underway and the fun is just beginning. The week so far has belonged to Sarah Jane Smith. She has been on fire. Pretty much of a surprise to everyone. Last month and a bit's been a bit of a tough time on the golf course, so um, to see it turning around is really nice, but a little surprising. <laughs> There's nothing like a weekend at one of golf's major championships. The pressure's amped up. We're going to see some great golf, and we might see a little bit of drama. One name under Sarah Jane Smith. You have to look at Aria Jutanagarn. She's been really impressive today. She's the most confident player here. She's probably playing the best of any player here. She really seems to be hitting her stride right now, while we've seen the leader at the start of the day, Sarah Jane Smith, stumble a bit here. This day, and right now, this championship belongs to Aria Jutanagarn. It's Sunday at a U.S. Women's Open. This major championship has turned into the unveiling of a force to be reckoned with the confirmation of a burgeoning star. Now 16 under par. Seven shots clear of Hyoju Kim. We really haven't seen anything to indicate that she will wilt under the pressure. It's a tough way to miss. Dead on line, short. A triple by Aria Jutanagarn at 10. This is the putt from Hyoju Kim, who is sitting in second place. Wow, she is only three back. Aria Jutanagarn birdied number nine to get to 16 under and lead by seven. Three holes later, her lead is two. <laughs> the shot of the week. And now one back. One shot lead heading to 18. She's got to make this putt to win the U.S. Open and to avoid a colossal collapse. Losing the lead, making bogey yep. at 18, and now having to go to a two-hole aggregate playoff. That's heart right there. They finish tied after the two-hole aggregate and now in sudden death. And on to 18 we go again. Oh, so good. What a shot. And Aria Jutanagarn has won the U.S. Women's Open Championship. First player from Thailand to win a U.S. Open. What a difference in emotion that close to getting your heart ripped out, and instead, you're a hero of your nation. It's the 74th plane of the U.S. Women's Open. But what a day here today at the Country Club of Charleston. 
this place will be the stiffest of tests this week for the best in the world. You're in the ball game. You can't win on Thursday, but you can lose the tournament on Thursday. And they're all chasing Mamiko Higa, a 65 to start here at Charleston. A bunch leaderboard with some of the biggest names in the world of women's golf brings us an exciting Friday afternoon around the country club of Charleston. She liked that as soon as she hit that. Another long birdie by Lexi Thompson. And that is the horn and play suspended. These lightning bolts were scary stuff. We are back after a storm rolled through. Back of the hole, side of the hole, dunk. She's just a couple of shots off the lead. The 70 players who survived this morning's cut are chasing a U.S. Women's Open Championship, the most coveted prize in women's golf. Another birdie for Lee Six. We know the ball striking abilities of Lexi Thompson. Hunter starts heating up. Watch out. Corda needed something in this third round. Oh, what a shot. And the putter continues to stay red hot for Celine Boudier. Just putting brilliantly. Yes, she did. Right in the heart. J. Marie Green joins Boudier at minus seven. This is Yu Lu at 16 with her second shot. How about those two? What a shot. UTA will fire 69 today, tied with her former Duke teammate Yu Lu at 7 under. As we start this shimmering Sunday afternoon, 11 players were within four shots of the lead. A lead being chased by some of the best in the game. Can anybody make a putt they have to make? This is what it's going to come down to. And when everybody else has fallen apart, Lee Six has been flawless. She's uh, clicking on all cylinders right now. What a shot this is. Almost no chance. Why did you do that? Wow. Championship stuff right there. Jung Un Lee Six will win the 2019 U.S. Women's Open Championship. And the emotions come pouring out. 